Hello, and welcome to Cooking with Ed. I'm your host, Ed Newhouse, and today we're making, well, I guess it's an American classic. It's a, it, it has its own museum. It has its own musical. It is, of course, Spam. I don't know if the if Spam is a portmanteau of spiced ham. I was told that as a child. It tastes like spiced ham. I'm guessing that's what it is. I probably could research that, but I elected not to. So anyway, we're making this today. Um, normally, I would, uh, well not normally, some, most of the time I'll have uh, Spam with something, often eggs. Uh, but today we're gonna, we're gonna put, it, uh, we're gonna follow the lead of the label itself which uh, has it in the form of a burger, i.e. on bread with a bunch of toppings, but you know I don't put other ingredients in my food, so I, and I also don't have any buns, so I'm just gonna put it on uh, bread. So we'll see how that works. So first of all, what I will say about Spam is it has a very satisfying um, way to open it. Uh, we've got this pop top thing here, and you just gonna peel it off. Ah, there it is. And you get that, oh, and it, it, it's got that, that sound there. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, put this on our cutting board. We're gonna cut it up because you gotta fry it. But first, right now, what I'm going to do is, I've got two cameras running and I'm really hoping this other one is working. Um, yeah, cause I, I, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna if, if, if this whole video is from one perspective, then you know that my uh, videotaping abilities failed me and I wasn't able to get one of these uh, videos to work. So hopefully what you're gonna see now is me going over here and turning the burner on to let's say medium high um, to get that cut warmed up. And we're going to take some Essential Everyday Grilling No Stick Cooking Spray, also known as Generic Pam. Spray that on there, make that work. All right, so next we got the Spam. We're gonna go on our cutting board here and we're going to, I'll do this part. Let me see if I can, oh, uh, look, did you hear that? Oh, that was a good sound. You know what? Yeah, that's why we set that down because I'm not used to filming anything with my camera, with my phone. So what we did was we took this giant hunk of meat, as you see here. Look at that. I use meat in, in quotations. And what you'll notice here is it's got these little ridges on the side. I don't know if that's from the cam or if that's where you're supposed to cut. You'll notice that that's pretty thick on the edges. So I don't know if you're supposed to cut, but I'm gonna cut generally around there. And the cool thing about Spam is it's, you know, shelf, sturdy, shelf stable. I don't know what the term is. When does this expire? I bought this like three or four days ago. It is best by June, 2027. So this expires uh, two years and 10 months from now. So 34 months from now is when this expires. So this will last a while. And of course I'm cutting this poorly. I'm just cutting this into, oh, I don't know how many pieces this ends up being. Well, I think about, about this thick. I ended up cutting it into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten pieces. Um, the thing is, what I'll often find when uh, cook when cooking this is that uh, or when eating spam is you, you can get sick of it pretty quickly. Um, I, I don't know if it's the spice. I don't know if it's the ham. But something about it is the amount they give you is good enough. So we're going to uh, hopefully hopefully that is. Hopefully this is recording. It is, good. Uh, so hopefully that's all warm. That pan is all warm. That's so what we're going to do. We're going to take these on here. Oh, listen to that. That's the sound of quote unquote meat frying in a pan. So that I can handle my camera. I was thinking earlier today about how about how much I'm like Les Stroud, the guy from Survivor Man. And I know you already were thinking of that, but the way I was thinking that we are similar is that you know how he had to like when he was going out in like the Canadian tundra or whatever, he had to like and he had to film himself, you know, hiking up a mountain. He also had to go and set his camera up so that he could you know you could see him hiking up said mountain. And that's kind of like me, uh, having to set up two cameras 
uh, in my tiny kitchen uh, so that you can see me cook uh, imitation meat products. So anyway, that's frying up right now. Um, I guess, so yeah, we'll do, well that's frying, that's gonna take a couple of minutes. I'm gonna go into the bread now. And so what we've got here is uh, the cheapest bread that Giant Eagle had, um, which is Giant Eagle enriched king size white bread, which was I believe $1.50 uh, for a rather large uh, loaf. Um, and you know, when I like sandwiches, generally I like to toast the bread. You know, it just depends on the consistency. Honestly, Spam runs a little dry, so toasting it might not be the best uh, thing. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna have, I think I'm gonna make myself two sandwiches, and I'm gonna toast two of the pieces of bread, and I'm gonna leave two of the other pieces of bread untoasted. So I'll have a little bit of uh, comparison there. Oh, I should grab a plate, should I? Uh, there. Listen to that fry. Oh, man, I'm running out of bread. Well, hopefully, you know the thing is, it's like whenever you buy bread, you gotta like make stuff, make enough stuff that involves bread quickly, so that like it doesn't go, the bread doesn't like go bad before you're done with it. There we go. Oh, there's that. Go over here and you'll see the toaster. Toast those. All right, here's a look at that. Let's move the frying. So, right now, what are we gonna do? We got that there, that there. Yeah, let's see. Man, I really hope this camera is working, otherwise this would be a pain in the ass to edit. All right, so let's take a look. Look at that span. I'm like not looking for the viewfinder, so this is going to look crappy, but let's put these. Ooh, look at that. Look at that crispiness. And so what you're trying to do is make it crispy on both sides. Like that. You know, Spam is, you know, not just for the home. In Hawaii, I believe, it's used pretty wildly in, in their cooking. I imagine because they're so remote that it helps to have something that you can ship a long distance and it doesn't go bad. There we go. Look at that. Very good. Right. Somebody's gonna get sick watching the, uh, well, I was gonna say watching my camera twirl around whenever I handle it like that, but also just from watching the cooking of Spam. So right now we've got the toaster on two out of six. It seems like a random number to have it out of. Oh, well, I think it would have been 10. Hey! That was the sound of that being done. Let's see what two looks like. This is what two looks like when toasting something. And that's hot. It's not that burnt. Just now, just waiting on this stuff to cook. Uh, don't have a whole lot to say. I just went for a run, and um, I don't know if Spam is the first thing I was, I was thinking of, and I was like, man, I could really go for dinner. I know what I should have, Spam. But it's not too difficult to cook. It can be cooked rather quickly. It's just frying. Some people add the, um, well, as this says, it says just add Spam. It's really anything that you put ham in, I imagine you can put Spam in. That's a rhyme. I didn't even intend that. I'm like really hoping this would get cooked faster because now I gotta kill time. That's never been a problem, has it? My kitchen is tiny, by the way. I don't know if you sense that. I thought it would cause a little bit more problems with filming, but alas, it has not. I know, I know. Not a great look. Maybe you might cut here. Sometimes it's cut here. I was, look, I was working on how, I was uh, learning how to use uh, iMovie yesterday because somehow over the years I became an Apple person. Like I didn't, intend that to happen, it just kind of did. I just kept buying Apple things accidentally. 
Um, it's not our home with Apple thing. And so I'm working, figuring out how to use the iMovie yesterday. And so hopefully this will not look terrible. And there we go. All right. It, you know, I don't know if these are done. Well, I know the one isn't. Some of these look almost done. It's hard to screw up, Spam. Is it cooked? I assume it's cooked. But like, you just warm it. There we go, fully cooked, ready to eat, cold or hot. So, you can't get, I wanna say, not dysentery. You can't get one of the diseases that you get from eating uncooked meat from eating Spam. At least, that's my interpretation of this. Don't take that as medical advice. Though, if you're taking medical advice from me, that's your own damn fault. Um, huh. So, anyway, almost all of our Spam right now is fully cooked. Um, let's see. Ooh, that's a good one. All right. Good, in quotation marks. You know what I'm saying? I keep bragging on Spam. I'm eating it. I have eaten it. It's not something I eat all the time, but it's something it's, it's fine enough. So let's take a look at what that looks like. You can see most of them are somewhat red. Uh, that stuff off of, over there on the, on the right, um, I think I'm gonna take one of those. And so, Okay, let's see here. Because uh, some of this still needs to cook a little bit, but we're going to take the ones that are more cooked and put, why don't we put it on the bread, the, the one that isn't toasted. And I think I can do, yeah, yeah, we'll go two, two slices of Spam on the, on the sandwich. Let we'll that cook. So let's show you what, what, we, what we got here. Look at that. Put that, come on down, I shouldn't have put that on top. There we go, and there. And so, as is a cooking with that tradition, I can't remember who first suggested this, but we always do a taste test and see how this tastes. Oh! You know what, that hits the spot. Don't know what spot it is, but it is. And I'll take it. I'm gonna let the rest of that cook. I'm gonna remove it from the pan. I'm just gonna let it cook and burn my apartment down. But, yeah. Anyway, this has been Cooking with Ed. I've been your host, Ed Newhouse.